Hi, dear code adventurers. Hi, hi. Mia here. In today's video, we're going to master the basics of Python and apply them in Renpy to create amazing visual novels. Ready to become coding wizards? Plus, we'll see how to use these concepts in Renpy to make interactive stories, like casting spells with a keyboard. Oh, and don't forget, you can find the source code for this course for free on my Itch.io page Discover with Mia. The link is in the description. Let the adventure begin. Alright team, let's get moving. Our first mission is to understand the core concepts of Python. Adventure awaits. Absolutely, Captain Emmy. I'm ready to slay some bugs and maybe even a few dragons along the way. And with my music and magic, we'll make learning Python a piece of cake. Cold is magic in hand in hand. Mm. We should start the quest before our audience leaves. I am pleased to be able to leave. Before we dive into coding, we need to set up our environment. First, let's install Python. Wait, set up? I thought we were jumping straight to the action. Relax. It's like sharpening our swords before a big quest. You don't want to face bugs unprepared. To download Python, go to python.org. Click on the download button and run the installer. It's like downloading magic spells. And make sure to check Add Python to Path. It's like adding a secret shortcut to your adventure map. Without it, you'll be lost in a sea of errors. Not exactly the hero's journey you signed up for. Fine, fine. But I better get to slay some dragons soon. Patience, brave warrior. Coding dragons await. <coughs> to add Python to Path manually, follow these steps. First, Open the control panel and go to System and Security, then System. Click on Advanced System Settings. In the System Properties window, click on Environment Variables. This is where the magic happens. Under System Variables, find the Path variable and click Edit. Searching. Click New, and add the path to the Python installation directory. Right, okay. Once done, click OK to close all windows. Now you can run Python from any command prompt. To verify the installation, open a command prompt and type python version. You should see the Python version displayed. Next, let's install an editor to write our code. We recommend Visual Studio Code. Go to code.visualstudio.com. Click on the download button for your operating system and run the installer. Really? Now let's create a new Python file. Right-click in the folder where you want to create the file, 
select open with code, then click new file, and name it first underscore script.py. Great! Now we're ready to start coding. Let's move on to learning about variables in Python. And remember, every great wizard started with the basics. Alright team, our first stop is to understand variables. Think of a variable as a magical box where you store information. Let's dive into an example. Hello. Let's say we want to store my age. We can write age equals 25. Wait, we're storing ages now? What's next? Collecting birthday wishes? We should be the best Variables of everything. Variables are crucial for keeping track of data in your programs. Think of them as your adventurer's inventory. Imagine trying to carry all your loot without a backpack. Chaos, right? And just like different items, variables can hold different types of data. Ready to see some examples? Or should we keep guessing what's in Lyra's box? No thanks. Alright, let's talk about different types of data you can use in Python. First, we have integers, or int for short. These are whole numbers like 25 or 100. Next, we have floats, which are numbers with decimals, like 3.14 or 0 0.01. Then, there are strings, or str, which are just text. Examples include hello and python. And finally, we have booleans, or bool, which can only be true or false. Ready to collect some treasures in coding? Let's dive in. Great job, everyone! Now let's see how we can use these variables. We'll start with an integer and a string. So here, age is an integer, and name is a string. And remember, use the right type for the right job. An integer for counting, a float for precision, a string for text, and a boolean for true, false values. Not for storing secrets, Ivan. Bruh. Fantastic! We've got the basics of variables down. Ready to move on to the next challenge? Now, let's move on to condition. Conditions allow us to make decisions in our code based on certain criteria. For example, let's say we want to check if someone is an adult. We can use an if-else statement. Wait, we're checking ages again. What is this, a tavern? Then, we use the if statement to check if age is greater than 18. If it is, Python will print you are an adult. If the condition okay. is not met, the else statement will execute, printing, you are a minor. This means the person is under 18. Age is just a number, right? Let's see what happens when we run this code. In this example, because age is 25, which is greater than 18, Python prints, you are an adult. Let's add more conditions using a leaf, which stands for else if. Ready for another example? Here it is. In this code we first check if age is less than 13. If it is, Python will print you are a child. Time to collect pocket money. If that condition is not met, the Aleve statement checks if age is less than 18. If true, it prints you are a teenager. Brace yourself for mood swings. And if neither condition is true, the else statement will execute, printing, you are an adult. This covers all remaining cases. Welcome to Responsibility.
conditions are like crossroads in your adventure. They help you decide which path to take based on certain criteria. Okay, so go there. Thank you. Let's summarize. If else helps you choose between different paths based on conditions. You can use a leaf for multiple conditions. Awesome! You've learned how to use conditions to make decisions in your code. Ready to move on to loops? Now that we've mastered variables and conditions, it's time to tackle loops. They let us repeat actions over and over. Like when I rehearse my songs endlessly. Let's start with a for loop. This loop will count from 0 to 4. It's like checking by inventory for missing gear. Do I get to count how many times Lyra sings off key? Focus team. The print inside the loop shows the count. Ta -da! Let's see it in action. Great! Now, on to the while loop. It keeps going until we say stop. Like a never-ending chorus. As long as count is less than five, it keeps singing. Over again, over again. Hello? Inside the loop, print count shows the count, and count plus equals one increases it. Simple, right? And if it goes on too long, do we throw tomatoes? Let's see the wild loop in action. like magic spells, automating tasks, perfect for repetitive quests. To sum up, use a for loop when you know how many times, and a while loop when you're unsure. Got it? Let's recap with both loops in action. Fantastic! Ready for our next adventure? No! To download RenPy, go to RenPy.org. Click that shiny button. It's like finding treasure. What if the download button had a trap? Like install and you shall be cursed. Relax, Yvonne. No curses. Just visual novels. Once installed, open Rempy. It's like your magical control center. Gotta be magic. Okay. Let's create our first project. Name it something epic. Uh, no, no. Perfect. Once your project is created, you'll see the main interface where you can add characters, scenes, and write your story. This is where the magic happens. The 
set up with RedPy. Now let's see how we can use Python within RedP to create interactive story. Ready to weave some magic? Alright team, let's bring some magic into our stories using Python and RedPy. First up, to find the character. Is this where I finally get to be the hero? Or just the comic relief? You are always the hero of your own story, Ivan. Now let's set up some variables. And no, I don't want- Let's do it! We're ready to track age, choices, and keep the adventure rolling. Now, let's jump into the story and make decisions based on age. Finally, a moment where age actually works in our favor. Let's add some choices and keep the fun going with a loop. Choose wisely, adventurers. Left or right, every path has a tail. Yes. After each choice, we update our counter. Let's see how it works. choices, and then the adventure ends. Better make them count. Like in a game where you have to save the world, or just find the next snack. To wrap it up, end of the game. You made three choices. Great job, everyone. We've woven some Python magic into our Renpai story. Keep exploring and crafting your own tales. Today, team, we've mastered Python basics, and now we're coding pros in Renpy. Remember, coding is like magic, except you don't need a wand, just a keyboard. Subscribe for more spells, ah, tutorials. Keep exploring, and don't forget to save your progress. You wouldn't want to lose all that hard work. And always remember, if at first you don't succeed, Blame the syntax error. And if your code crashes, just call it a feature. Also, please feel free to follow me for free on my social networks and my Discord server so that we can stay now touch together. If there's anything you need, don't hesitate to write me. See you soon for our next adventure together. Have a blessed day and love you all.